The Pentagon's Strategic Capabilities Office, or SCO, is adding two more unmanned surface vessels, or USVs, to its secretive Ghost Fleet Overlord program. For security reasons, SCO has not revealed the name of the firms that are developing its new vessels. Interestingly, SCO has announced that it will transfer the two existing USVs it's been testing to the US Navy in January 2022. This indicates that the USVs are meeting basic criteria and are ready to take the next trip. Viewers may note that the Ghost Fleet Overlord program was initiated in 2017 and aims to field a group of autonomous surface vessels. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how U.S. Navy is expanding its Ghost Fleet with the planned addition of two new large unmanned surface vessels LUSVs. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. A large fleet of traditional manned ships is costly to operate and maintain. It's the need of the hour that few tasks are shifted to unmanned platforms. This also fits in the larger concept of having a more distributed and flexible fleet. U.S. Navy envisions a ghost fleet consisting of large unmanned surface vehicles LUSVs, medium unmanned surface vehicles MUSVs, and extra-large unmanned undersea vehicles XLUUVs. The vessels will be low-cost, high-endurance, and modular. That is, they will be reconfigurable vessels and will be equipped according to mission requirements. While the U.S. Navy is still charting out long-term plans on how Ghost Fleet could be best deployed in the future, the Overlord program aims to get these unmanned platforms up and running. The goal of the Overlord program is to convert commercial fast supply vessels, which are used to service and resupply oil and gas platforms at sea, into an experimental unmanned ship that could navigate the ocean with or without human help. The U.S. Navy plans to acquire two LUSVs per year from FY 2020 to FY 2024. These will be between 200 feet to 300 feet in length and have a displacement of about 2,000 tons when fully loaded, making the LUSVs the largest unmanned ship to date. The platforms will be packed with sensors of different types. Initially, these are expected to be unarmed but eventually could be fitted with Mark 41 VLS vertical launch system. At the basic level, the idea is to build ships that can not just travel from one location to another autonomously, but also follow the rules of the sea and avoid other ships on their own. At an advanced level, there are a lot of possible use cases. Here are some of them. 1. Scout Ghost Fleet could potentially gather lots of intelligence regarding threats like enemy warships, sea mines, submarines, 
as well as land-based assets. This will greatly increase situational awareness and help in making tactical decisions. 2. Decoy Large warships like cruisers, destroyers and aircraft carriers can be targeted by high-speed boats, missile-firing fast attack craft, small submarines, sea mines, and land and air-launched anti-ship missiles. Ghost Fleet could be used as decoys that could shield the more valuable assets. They could emit signals, making them look like a proper warship and divert the enemy's focus. Also, they can be used to act as a shield in case of eventuality where these vessels could come in between a warship, an enemy's missile, and torpedoes. 3. Electronic Warfare The unmanned vessels could be equipped with electronic warfare suites. These systems could be used to jam enemy radars and sensors. 4. Weapons Carrier Ghost Fleet will be used to augment the firepower of the U.S. Carrier Strike Group. Weapons in Ghost Fleet could be cued by different sensors to strike enemy assets. 5. The initiative already has two large unmanned surface vessels LUSVs, the Ranger and the Nomad, that were converted from commercial fast supply vessels. Sea Hunter, which is a medium displacement unmanned surface vehicle, MDUSV, had achieved a unique feat some time back. It became the first craft to ever sail from San Diego, California to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii and back without needing any onboard crew. Viewers may note that the round trip is almost 5,200 miles or 8,368 kilometers. On January 31st, 2019, Lidos, the lead defense contractor on the Sea Hunter project, announced this achievement in a press release. The aim of the Strategic Capabilities Office is clear. Luis Molina, SCO's deputy director, told reporters, The intent is to utilize this time period to do fleet demonstration exercises and operational vignettes to continue to demonstrate, in an operational context, the utility of these vessels to augment manned combatant capabilities. It's paramount that U.S. Navy changes with changing times. The moment is ripe for the U.S. Navy to move to a state where unmanned platforms operate alongside manned ones. The Ghost Fleet does have a lot of potentials and, if properly groomed, could be a force multiplier. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days.